What is going on, you guys? Whew. That moment has finally arrived. I have been waiting for a very long time to do this, but I can finally say it's time to watch the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer. I am so excited. I am so ready for this. You have no idea. I have never done a proper trailer reaction video. There was a clip of me reacting to The Last Jedi's trailer as it dropped, but I lost that video a while back. It was on an older phone. And this is, I have the full setup going now. You know, I'll have the, the picture in picture that you'll see to the side of me. Um, I have the proper editing software now to really make this enjoyable for you to watch. And then um, after my initial thoughts, I'll kind of break it down a little bit and go back through it and see what I notice. I don't know how long this is going to be. I haven't even looked at the timestamp yet. I haven't looked at anything yet. I, it's on my TV screen, but I have not looked up yet. I'm not, I don't even want to know the length of the video. I just want to hit play and watch it. So, let's not waste any more time. On three. One. Two. Three. Got the Lucasfilm logo. Hearing some heavy breathing. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Here's Ray. Like Jakku or Tatooine, maybe? Or they filmed in Jordan? We've passed on all we know. There's the lightsaber. It a sounded like Luke. Generations live in you now. A thousand generations live in you now. What's that in the distance? It sounds, but it sounds this like is a fighter. Every generation has a legend. That was the uh, the Skywalker lightsaber. What is she doing? Oh, it's Kylo. That's the Tie silencer. What is she doing? Should I try to have one there? Whoa! That was one of the coolest scenes I have ever seen in any trailer or any film. Oh, there's Kylo kicking ass, man. Finn, Poe, BB-8, oh, Billy D. Land of the saga comes to an end. C-3PO, got some more action. We'll always carry. be with you. Is that the no, Death Star? No, really gone. Gone. <laughs> Whoa. Is that Palpatine laughing? Here comes the title. The Rise of Skywalker. Yes. 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 Whoa. <laughs> oh man oh man I think we may have something special on our hands oh I gotta digest that man oh god I, got, I gotta rewatch that and, and go back through that wow the rise of Skywalker right off the bat love the name love the teaser trailer love the narration by Mark Hamill like perfect for this trailer really set the tone the mood the music had like a uh, this romantic feel to it um this is it Palpatine the Emperor why was his laugh at the end of the trailer dude oh my god that was definitely a remnant of the Death Star. Probably Death Star 2. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
Star Wars is alive and well, man. Wow, let me, um... I'm gonna do, like, a little bit of a jump cut here and recalibrate, and then we'll do, like, a little bit of a breakdown. Oh my god. I'm gonna rewatch that a thousand times today, dude. Wow. Ten out of ten on the trailer scale, man. Wow. Wow. That first shot of Ray doing that running front flip thing over what looked like Kylo's TIE Interceptor or a variation of it, maybe a new upgraded model perhaps. That was one of the coolest movie scenes that my eyes have ever witnessed, flat out. Something I noticed about her right before they cut to that, when they zoomed in on her face, she kind of she kind of looked like she was like about to crack a smile almost. Maybe she was training with Kylo. Who knows, man? But okay, now another thing is that when when uh, here, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of touch upon some things. I'm gonna play it and kind of narrate over it a little bit. Um, wow, man. Wow. So obviously, yeah, she's standing there and she's looking out into the distance. And uh, the first thing I notice is the location. It's, I guess, where they filmed in Jordan. It's pretty beautiful. And then the uh, Skywalker lightsaber is on her, on her side there, and she pulls it out. Yep, yeah, that's the that's the saber. And they said it was repaired. Yeah, I can hear and I can hear the sound effect. It's definitely you know a Tie fighter of some kind, a variation of it. It looks like the silencer based on the wings. Luke saying some really important dialogue in this this trailer. And this is your fight. You know, a thousand generations live in you. And that's that's Kylo's gloves, I think. I mean, I, that's I, I think that's him. Yeah, I mean, that's the silencer. I've flown it enough times in Battlefront 2 to know. Now, that is interesting right there. The part where Kylo sticks the lightsaber into somebody. That looked like one of the Knights of Ren. You got Billy D with Chewbacca in the Millennium Falcon. And it looks like we may be back on that same planet with Poe, Finn, and 3PO. The Medal of Bravery, I think that is. A lot of interesting things going on, man. Now... So I'm just listening to it. And here comes that laugh. Oh, man, that's such a good trailer. Wow, wow, wow. I felt the tears in my eyes, man, for real. I really felt it. The Rise of Skywalker. Great title. Great title. All right, let's, let's talk about a couple things, man. Uh... I think that was the Medal of Bravery from A New Hope. I think. I'm just going back to that. Maybe she's remembering Luke, you know, that sounds like she's reminiscing on him. That looked like the uh the medal that Luke and uh Hom were both wearing at the end of A New Hope. <sighs> It's really interesting that that Kylo looked like he was attacking one of the Knights of Ren. And I, I, I noticed the weapon he was holding looked very similar to some of those designs, those concepts that had come out, the concept art for the Knights of Ren. And th it looked like his face was covered, uh, just like we saw in that leaked poster that came out a couple weeks ago that showed the Knights of Ren that... Uh, that promotional poster that was that was leaked on Reddit, I believe. I think it was Reddit. That looked like one of the Knights of Ren, man. And it, the stormtrooper that was in uh, the background there, he didn't look like one of the red Sith troopers. 
that we had seen on the poster. It looked like one of the, it just looked like a normal trooper. And I don't know what planet that was on, but uh had like a reddish hue to it. Almost like there was fire going on somewhere. Uh, another thing I want to point out is the fact that, you know, they obviously had to use leftover footage from The Force Awakens to have Carrie Fisher in the film properly, and it looks like they've, they've done a really good job with that, uh, an incredible job. That doesn't look like old footage. Based on the background, um, you know, the scenery that's present in that shot, uh, wow. You know, it looks like they used it from the part where Leia gave Rey a hug at the end of The Force Awakens. That's impressive, man. I'm kind of scanning through a few things here because I just want to do a little breakdown of this. That's incredible. Wow. The special effects have come a long way for films, man. I mean, that's just, like, really remarkable. Uh, another thing that I noticed is uh, they that scene right after Ray did her flip. They were there was like it looks like you know it could be a new planet of some kind, rocky, and there's like a city that the ship is flying towards. That's pretty beautiful. But this scene, man, uh, with the Death Star. Wow, I'm paused on it right now. I'm just I'm, I'm kind of examining it. It's gorgeous. It, I would take a guess that that's the second Death Star. Um, it would make sense, at least uh, timeline-wise. Uh, yeah, I would say that's the second Death Star. The The second Death Star blows up over, you know, you can see it in the skies of Endor. Now, we've been to Endor in the films, obviously. Uh, the forest moon. But it's a moon. Right now, moons orbit planets, so maybe this hunk of the Death Star fell onto the planet that Endor orbits. Just you know, just an idea that would make a lot of sense. Maybe they're going there to retrieve something. Maybe uh, you know, who knows? Maybe there's uh, some data that's in there that they have to get. You know, uh, memory banks. There's been the rumors that C-3PO's memories are, or his digital memories are going to play an important role in this movie as the, uh, the you know, there's going to be a MacGuffin that changes throughout the film and that his memory banks may be an aspect of that changing MacGuffin, so to speak. That would be interesting as long as it pushes the story along. I don't care what it is, man. As long as it serves the story properly, I am on board with it. Um, now, I've... I, <sighs> I feel like I've read somewhere that the planet that Endor orbits, or Endor itself, is like a dark side nexus. There's a dark side nexus there somewhere, so maybe that has to do with the whole Palpatine thing. Maybe his essence is like attached to the remnants of that Death Star. When he gets thrown down a shaft, maybe like his, his spirit is attached to it somehow. It's like, you know, a force haunting. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like that idea. And I think they were going to explore the blown up second Death Star. Wasn't that part of the Force Awakens concept art? Where Rey was going to like dive into it or something? Like I, I feel like I remember that. Probably. I, it, that sounds really familiar. Where she like visits the throne room underwater... That makes me wonder, man. You know, we heard palps. We heard them. I'm excited, man. Now, let's see what else we got here. Luke is saying, we will always be with you. He's talking about himself, but he uses the word we. He's probably talking about him, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin, um... He uses the word we more than once throughout this dialogue. Maybe she's going to have a meeting with the Force Ghosts? Oh man, I have a really good feeling about this movie. Wow. Let's see, what else? did I miss anything else? 
Well, I saw that they showed the scene, because uh, it, I mean, it had this had been a rumor already, so someone must have seen this trailer and leaked some of this information now, because it's very relevant to the trailer itself. Uh, there's some creature, it looks like, uh, forging Kylo Ren's original helmet back together, which I like. And again, I have a feeling that they're not just doing that to retcon what happened in The Last Jedi with Kylo smashing the helmet. I feel like there's a, a real purpose for this that we just don't know yet. And that at face value, it just kind of looks like a reversal of what Ryan Johnson had done in The Last Jedi. But I don't think that's what's going on. I think this is going to serve an actual purpose in the story and it'll mean something a lot more um, impactful than it may appear at first glance and that's I mean that's just it, it, I trust J.J. Abrams I, you know I really do I loved The Force Awakens this doesn't look like it's just gonna be you know fanfare fan service nostalgia which all of those things are gonna be in it anyways because it's Star Wars but oh man I have a really good feeling about this I really do and I and it's I don't and there's another thing I noticed, too, because I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm scrolling through things. I'm going back to the Death Star image. I'm trying to see. There's, like, a... looks like there's cliffs in the background to the left of the Death Star. That was a lot to unpack. So, beautiful trailer. Um... I really love the fact that the Death Star remnants are in this. Um, that's reminiscent of, you know, the uh, concept art for The Force Awakens. Love that touch. Looks like Ray's it just. I'm 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 almost certain now that 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 knapsack she has. She's got the. Uh, she's got those ancient Jedi texts from the Last Jedi. And, um, I think she's carrying those with her. I'm pretty certain on that. But wow, man, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm so pumped for this. You have no idea, and I think that the people that maybe didn't like the Last Jedi as much as some of us did, like me, and I do understand the things that were wrong with it. But that's every movie. Um, I think this may pull them back in, and you know reunite the franchise you know like they've been saying you know, if you want to call it that but all right man that that's that's my reaction to this uh very excited very excited um i'm gonna definitely do more of these in the future for sure but thanks for watching and remember you're in the right place at the right time